twin flame relationships can be super intense as well, can't they? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, it's intense because you see a different version of yourself. Um, you see the opposite side of yourself. Um, you mirror each other. So like the things that you hate about yourself, you see in them, the things they hate about themselves, they see in you. And the point is so that you guys can come together and um, work through those things. But with you know, the human experience as well, most of the time we only really want what's easy for us rather than what's difficult. So that's one of the things that makes the twin flame experience very difficult as well, is the fact that we don't necessarily like seeing the bad in us or each other. We only really want to see the good and the easy. Being with your twin flame is one of those things, like I said, it's, they are the other half of you. They are like your mirror so if you don't love yourself then they feel that and they express that to you in the opposite way it's a very difficult process especially in the very beginning you're going to feel really great and everything's going to be great in the very beginning but then the separation happens you feel lost and lonely and like nothing can ever work out you might come back together but there's going to be those processes where you really have to be alone and be one with yourself in order to come back to them. For me, it was love at first sight. And then I researched and I was like, oh, what is this? Because I can, I can feel this person. And I literally looked into his eyes and I felt there was something there. But for some people, it could be very different. Um, for my... Um, karmic soulmate I didn't really know for sure at first until I started feeling it a couple of months later so it really depends on um, you and how you feel in the moment and how you feel the situation is uh, progressing um, you can definitely most likely feel them from afar feel them when they're near you um, when at one point my twin flame had gotten a tattoo and I had no idea but my arm was hurting really badly at that weekend and then the day like that I saw him after that fact he was like oh look, look at my tattoo and I was like oh my god this is insane this person is definitely connected to me so you will feel some sort of connection whether it's a physical connection a mental connection or anything like that you'll always be there with them mentally um, you'll always be able to feel them especially if you're become closer you'll always be able to like hear their thoughts and things like that um, maybe even astral projecting dream states or anything like that and the reason that twin flames are there is to change the vibrations of the world to change something make a difference in some way but they can only do that once they've gone through all of those processes in order to come back to each other but it's not necessarily guaranteed that it's going to be happening, of course, in this lifetime because they follow each other and come back together throughout like multiple lifetimes until they're completely ready. And the main thing about Twin Flames is that spiritual transformation, that just complete enlightenment in order to make a difference. So your Twin Flame is there for you to basically destroy everything that you know and they tear you completely apart. It's like your, your, your entire being is just like thrown into the pits so that you can just crawl your way up and just, you know, be this amazing, strong, like incredible thing. But in between that time, or if you decide, screw that for this lifetime, I can't do it. There are those soulmates that are there for you to make everything easier and just be there for you and be that person that just makes you smile every single day mm -hmm. um, and some people strive for that and I say go for it whatever makes you happy if you're not ready for the twin flame experience if you're not ready for that like you know intense scary profound just moment that's okay because I understand and man <laughs> i don't wish this craziness on anyone if they're not ready for it mm -hmm. so yeah um there's there's a lot that goes into the soul connections and um yeah if you're ready for it go for it
And what's funny about what you just said about that, you know, that twin flame relationship, it actually, you know, if you were describing this to just any random person on the street, it would sound like a toxic relationship. It does. Like, so <laughs> uh, are, are twin flame rela relationships inherently toxic? I would say they're inherently toxic, but it's because of your internal struggles already. Um, they mirror what you're feeling on the inside and they, um, they are hard lessons. Toxic, yes, but lessons nonetheless.